Okay, so these are the top 10 most stolen vehicles in 2020 in Canada. So you can see here the 2018 Honda CRV SUV, 2017 Lexus RX 350 SUV, 2017 Honda CRV SUV, 2018 Lexus RX 350 SUV, 2018 Ford F-150, 2019 Honda CRV SUV, 2018 Toyota Highlander SUV, 2017 Toyota Highlander SUV, 2019 Lexus RX 350 SUV, and a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500. Notice any patterns here? Eight out of 10 of those most stolen vehicles are SUVs. And let me see, uh, three of them are Lexus RX 350s. Three of them are Honda CRVs. And then two Toyota Highlanders. So, I mean, um, there's the obvious tips to reduce your chances of car theft. You know, things like park in a well-lit area. If you have a garage, park it in the garage and lock the garage. <coughs> lock up your car. Close all the windows and all that stuff. Make sure the keys are out of reach. Never leave your car just sitting idling. Like even if it's just warming up in your driveway or if you're um, if you're running into a convenience store to pick up a pack of cigarettes or or a thing of milk or whatever, don't leave your car idling. But I saw another tip that like those are all basic common sense things. But I also came across another tip that's not such basic common sense. So I'm just reading the YouTube comments on this video right now. I do I agree with this one comment here for sure. Call for tougher punishment on crimes, especially organized crimes. Most criminals can get back to the street after one to two days. The cost of crime is too low. Yeah, the one tip I was seeing here is to put if you have keyless entry for your car, to put your key fob in the tin cookies box and buy a wheel lock in Walmart. So basically, the way that these key fobs work, apparently, is that these key fobs are always sending, um, they're always sending signals and communicating with your car, I guess so that they can be ready to lock or unlock your car or do whatever but they're always in communication with your car so what a car th and a, a car thief that knows a thing or two about electronics can do apparently there's devices out there i think they're called master keys or something i don't know but they can use these devices to pick up the signals that your key fob is giving off and then they can use these signals from your key fob to um to make those devices, program those devices to steal um, your keyless entry car. So yeah, so if you do have a car with keyless entry, when you go home, don't just uh, leave your key fob sitting on, sitting in your front hallway, sitting on the sitting on the key table or key rack in your front hallway or even just put it in your jacket and hang up your jacket in the coat closet. Yeah, take your key fob and put it in a metal, uh, like a cookie tin or something like that. And I'm not 100% sure, but maybe even aluminum foil might serve the same purpose. So whenever you're not driving your car, maybe just wrap your, your key fob in aluminum foil and that might be able to make it more difficult or possibly even impossible for car thieves to steal your car through electronic means. 
Also, if you are able to park your car in your garage, of course, lock your garage. And something old-fashioned, maybe, maybe one of those old-fashioned steering wheel clubs. I believe they still sell them at Walmart and other stores. Put one of those steering wheel clubs on your, on your steering wheel. Now, yeah, I have heard that the determined car thief, if they really want your car, they're going to get it no matter what. And with those steering wheel clubs, they're not gonna they're not gonna saw through the steering wheel club, but they're just gonna saw through the steering wheel and remove that club. Another thing you might want to do, you might want to consider getting a, a tracking device, installing a tracking device in your car, so that if your car does get stolen, then at least you might be able to share that information with the police to let them know where your car is. I guess sophisticated enough car thieves can um, can override that or disable, disable that tracking device, but it's worth a try though. So yeah, get a tracking device, keep your key fob in a metal container or wrap it in aluminum foil and park your car in a well-lit area and park your car in a locked garage if possible to try to avoid ending up on, on this list.